and welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss about mode. Mode can be defined as the value which occurs most often in a series. can also be said that mode is that measure of observation around which items are most densely or heavily concentrated mode is that value which occurs most frequently but this does not imply that its frequency represents a majority out of all the total number of frequencies For example, if out of 100 people, movie first is liked by 32, movie second is liked by 47, and movie third is liked by 21, then it will be wrong to conclude that majority is with movie second as 21 plus 32 that is 53 have other preferences Next we are going to discuss how to compute mode for different series Let us consider the following distribution where the x values are given as 1 2 3 and 4 with the corresponding frequencies given by 5 20 10 and 3 Here 20 is the maximum frequency with the corresponding value of x as 2 therefore the mode of the given distribution is 2 let us take another example suppose 10 students score the following marks in mathematics that is 42 60 78 45 60 90 91 92 93 Here, 90 has the maximum frequency that is 3. Therefore, the mode is 90. But in certain cases, there may not exist a mode, or there may be more than one mode. Thus, in the first series, that is 42, 60, 78, 45, and 90. there is no mode and in the second series that is 42 60 78 45 60 90 98 and 90 there are two modes that is 60 and 90 a series having one mode is called unimodal A series having two modes is called bimodal. A series having three modes is called trimodal. And a series having more than three modes is called 
मल्टी मॉडल नाउ वी शैल लर्न हाउ टू कंप्यूट मोड फॉर इंडिविजुअल सीरीज देर आर टू मेथड्स फॉर कंप्यूटिंग मोड फॉर इंडिविजुअल सीरीज एंड दी फर्स्ट मेथड इज इंस्पेक्शन मेथड इन दिस मेथड we identify the value which occurs most frequently in a series example we need to find the mode for the given series here by inspection we can say that the mode of the series is 5 as it occurs most frequently second method is by converting individual series into discrete series when the number of items in a series is very large then we convert individual series into discrete series and then identify the value corresponding to which there is highest frequency we need to compute mode for this given series and since the number of items in this series is large therefore first we convert the given series into discrete series in the given distribution 10 occurs 3 times 11 occurs 6 times 12 occurs 3 times 13 occurs 3 times 14 occurs once 15 occurs 3 times 16 occurs 3 times 17 occurs 2 times 18 occurs 3 times 19 occurs 4 times and 20 occurs once now here 6 is the maximum frequency with the corresponding x value as 11 therefore the modal value is 11 now we shall learn how to compute mode for discrete series in a discrete series mode can be determined by two methods and the first method is inspection in inspection the value which occurs most frequently identified as mode next is grouping method there are cases when the value with maximum frequency may not be the modal value that is when the difference between the maximum frequency and 
की फ्रीक्वेंसी जस्ट लोअर और जस्ट हायर इज वेरी लेस That is, the items are concentrated at more than one value. Or, if the immediate neighborhood of the highest frequency. वेरी लो फ्रीक्वेंसी इन सच केसेस द ग्रुपिंग मेथड इज फॉलोड लेट इज टेक एन एग्जाम्पल डिटर्मिंग द मोड फॉर द फॉलोइंग डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन हेयर इन दिस डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन वेस्ट साइज इज गिवन एज ट्वेंटी एट थर्टी थर्टी टू थर्टी फोर थर्टी सिक्स थर्टी एट एंड फोर्टी विद दी कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग फ्रीक्वेंसी रेप्रेजेंटेड बाई एस एस थ्री सेवन एट सिक्स टू नाइन एंड वन नाउ इन दिस डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एज दी हाइएस्ट फ्रीक्वेंसी इज ऑफ थर्टी एट दैट इज नाइन दट कॉन्सेंट्रेशन अपीयर्स टू बी ग्रेटर अराउंड एट देर फोर वी शुड प्रिपेयर अ ग्रुपिंग एंड एन एनालिसिस टेबल First, we shall prepare the grouping table, and it consists of six columns. And we write the given frequencies in the first column. Now, we group the frequencies in twos and write their total in column two. So we have three plus seven, that is ten; eight plus six, that is fourteen; and two plus nine, that is eleven. Now. Leaving the first frequency, group the remaining frequencies in twos and write their total in column three. Therefore, we have seven plus eight, that is fifteen; six plus two, that is ten. And leaving the last frequency, nine. Now, we group the frequencies in threes and write their total in column four. So, we have three plus seven plus eight. That is eighteen, and six plus two plus nine. That is seventeen. Leaving the first frequency, we group the remaining frequencies in threes and write their total in column five. And we have seven plus eight plus six. That is twenty-one. And leaving the last two frequencies, leaving the first two frequencies, group the remaining frequencies in threes. And write their total in column six. So we have eight plus six plus two, that is sixteen. And leaving the last frequency, that is nine. Now we mark the highest total in each column. In column one, nine is the highest total. In column two, it's fourteen. In column three, it's fifteen. In column four. 18 is the highest total in column 5 in 21 is the highest total and in column 6 16 is the highest total this is the required grouping table and with the help of this table we shall prepare an analysis table in the analysis table we write column number on the left side and the modal values of each column on the right side Now in column 1 9 is the maximum frequency whose corresponding x value is 38 therefore we mark the value of 38 in column 1 now in column 2 14 is the maximum frequency whose corresponding x values are 32 and 
Therefore, we mark the values of 32 and 34 in column 2. In column 3, 15 is the maximum frequency whose corresponding x values are 30 and 32. Therefore, we mark the values of 30 and 32 in column 3. In column 4, 18 is the maximum frequency whose corresponding x values are 28, 30 and 32. Therefore, we mark the values of 28, 30 and 32 in column 4. In column 5, 21 is the maximum frequency whose corresponding x values are 30, 32 and 34. Therefore, we mark the values of 30, 32 and 34 in column 5. And 16 is the maximum frequency in column 6, whose corresponding x values are 32, 34 and 36. Therefore, we mark the values of 32, 34 and 36 in column 6. Now, we write the total against each column. Now, the value which is repeated, the maximum number of times will be the mode. Here, 5 is the maximum total whose corresponding x value is 32. Therefore, the mode for this distribution is 32 and not 38. Therefore, the modal value is 32 with frequency 8. This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed this session.